So now I'm ready to record, I go to the Windows control panel, go to Hardware and Sound, then Sound, and make sure I hit the Recording tab in the dialog box. It comes up, check that the microphone, that microphone port is the default recording device and hit the Properties button. And then the Levels tab, and make sure this is very important that the microphone boost is down at zero. We do not need any microphone boost on this. And then you can adjust the other volume um, by playing around and seeing what sounds right. I'm going to do the recording in Audacity because it is so simple to use. Okay, now in Audacity, very handy, all the devices you've got available are on the bar here and you just click the drop down list and choose the correct settings. So I'm choosing my computer sound card, speakers and microphone. And then I can adjust the volume here and I know I need to have it on one for my keyboard, but you will gradually increase the settings yourself and play with them for you for yours. Then all I need to do is hit record. It, Audacity creates a track and with sincere apologies to Beethoven, I start playing and it actually records the sound. I think that's enough of that. Okay, so just before I export it, let's do a quick edit. Hit the zoom button and right click to zoom out. And then using the select tool, I'm going to just select the beginning and the end and delete to top and tail it a bit. Just play it back. See what it sounds like again. Export. And this is where you can save it as just a standard audio file. We we'll have format. Okay, I'm going to call it piano and save it. It'll ask you to put a bit of information in some metadata. So I'll just type my name in here. You could put what you liked in and then okay. And that's it. I have created an audio recording of my keyboard just with a simple cable connected to the mic port.